Welcome back to the show. <laughs> we are rocking out at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This place is absolutely amazing. It gets better and better each year. It is the crown jewel of all of Northeast Ohio. And guess what, folks? Because of major expansion, it's going to get even better. Yes, it's like a $150 million project that's really going to take the museum into the future oh. and create a lot of opportunities as well. Yeah, it's incredible. And Tim Oftermat is the vice president of finance. And Chrissy just mentioned this number. We're hearing like 135, $150 million expansion. And that Sky Fox shot you saw a second ago, you can see the construction is happening. Yes. So uh, it's it's <laughs> gonna it's gonna be here before we know it. It will. The uh, the new construction will be completed. Uh, Summer of 2026. Wow. Uh, uh, six months from now, the site will be super active. Uh, right now, there's probably uh, 25 or 30 uh, carpenters out there. You can see coming out of the ground uh, the, the uh, walls of a, uh, an elliptical, an inverted elliptical structure, which wow. is going to house a 6,000 square foot live performance uh, facility oh, nice. that will also be able to be uh, used for classroom activity and mm -hmm. business meetings, things like so that. So you had to bring in a world <coughs> renowned architecture. Oh, and I mean, it's not just anybody. Yes, uh, uh, the, uh, our lead architect, our lead concept architect uh, is the practice for architecture and urbanism. They're based in New York City. Uh, Vishan Chakrabarty is the principal in mm -hmm. that group. Uh, and they're the ones largely responsible for the look of uh, the exterior of the new museum. Yeah. Uh, we've transferred, based on the way we're building this thing, also heavily involved are local architects, Robert wow. P. Madison yeah. uh, and company. Uh, uh, Robert Madison himself yep. was involved wow. in the initial design initial, of the yeah. Rock Hall with IM Pay. Yeah, IM Pay. Wayne and I both were back here, back in the day, covering this when it when we broke ground and when this place happened. And that's why you had to stay along those lines of it being truly iconic and nothing else like it in the world. Oh, right. And the design of the new construction is meant to complement it, but at the same time not compete with it yeah. so that it looks unique and it adds to the unique nature yeah. of uh, the whole Rock Hall complex. And the location right here on the lake is absolutely incredible. Well, you know, one thing, at least in my opinion, that doesn't get enough discussion with what we're doing to the, to the west of the new construction between uh, the expanded Rock Hall and the Great Lakes Science Center is going to be about a 65,000 square foot public park. Whoa, didn't know. Uh, oh, fantastic. Oh, I did if, not know. If you remember the old topography uh, between the two buildings, there was a very not user friendly 20 foot hill with yeah. concrete steps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This new park is going to have less than a 5% grade, so folks of all physical capabilities can get from street side to lakeside uh, very easily. And it, uh, we really expect it to uh, improve the access to the lakefront, sure. which is something that civic types around Cleveland have really been yeah. after for years. Yeah, that years. land bridge yeah. you're talking about yes. and all so that nice. stuff. Who needs a stadium over It's going to be amazing. <laughs> you guys do yeah. a lot with education, right. too, and you'll yes. be able to even yeah. welcome more groups, bigger groups. Uh, you mentioned even corporate events and stuff, too, right. but the education has been key for you guys since day one. Absolutely. Uh, in addition to the, you know, the uh, it, it's going to have a name, Baker Hall. Why is that? Uh, it's going to, because uh, uh, Great benefactors of the Rock Hall, the Baker okay. family, okay. Okay. have uh, uh, have put their name on that particular That's part wonderful. of the new nice. facility. It's terrific. Mm -hmm. um, Is that involved the student center? It's no. That's separate from that's the student separate. center. So that there's going to be able to be classroom activity oh, in the multi-purpose area. But actually, inside this structure, we're going to create a new, uh, oh, couple thousand square foot student center. Uh, that's going to be able to be used. It's going to be very tech-centric, uh, uh, studio activity, learning, yeah. uh, be able to access the Rock Hall archives wonderful digitally. wonderful for this wonderful. next generation. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. And this building's forever young. It yeah. never grows oh, old. Beautiful. It's always in style. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, well, you know, that's, 
that's the lead of the Rock Hall yeah. mission. I mean, yeah. we, uh, you know, we, uh, we have to no longer uh, promote to just guys like me, uh, old white guys. You're uh, rock and roll guys, <laughs> and now it is so, so diverse. And yeah, so we wonderful, really like want to promote our diversity. On. Yeah. Uh, uh, create an interest for younger people, new audiences. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what we're all about. That you've Excellent, done. Man. Tim, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> thank you, you being with here. We cannot wait for this expansion. Uh, $135, $150 million into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the beautiful lakefront. So we can't wait to see. Yo, store. Me neither. Yay. <laughs> thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. All right. Good thank luck. you. All right.